So Destiny has finally got the Halo Battle Rifle, and it has been one of the most craziest weapons to try out in both PvE and PvP for how well tuned it is. You can fire this weapon zoomed in or just hip fire it, and no matter what you do, both methods will allow you to dome combatant just like in Halo. With the weapon comes a brand new perk called Blunt Rounds Execution, which is a throwback to a certain time in Halo, and this perk alone allows users to do an increased weapon damage the moment you melee someone, and upon firing the weapon, it will then disappear. So a miniature swashbuckler in a way. Now this sounds more for PvP with its function, but what if I told you that you can use this in PvE as well and receive a whopping, and I mean actually a whopping, 500% weapon damage increasement from using the blunt execution perk? Good thing I'm your man, as I've spruced up something quick and easy for you to try. Now like usual before we do head in, if you enjoyed the video then do leave a like and a sub for more content like this in the future, as I would really appreciate it. Starting with the subclass, it's recommended that you use Way of a Thousand Cuts so you can utilise the knife trick within the subclass tree. As Blunt Execution relies on melee damage, this perk will allow you to throw your melee at distance and proc the perk whenever you need it most. However, expanding on this, we can make the melee be available 24-7 with the right environment. The Playing with Fire perk will allow you to quickly recharge your melee every time you destroy a combatant who is burning, which will also trigger the Burning Edge perk that will then grant us dodge ability once a combatant is burning as well. Combine this with Gambler's Dodge for a full stack of melee back, and the Elphidia Spath Azotic which will grant you 2 melee charges, and you pretty much have an unlimited source of melee charges wherever you go. This simple setup will allow you to maintain a high rotation of melee energy so you can always have melee charges when you need them most, and have the Blunt Execution perk always active on demand, as the perk will disappear the moment you shoot it, so you have a limited time frame. However, I feel like just to make the Blunt Execution perk constantly active and fully backed up, it would be wise to add on mods to make the perk sustainable as well. Mods such as Reaping Wall Maker will allow you to spawn a Void Wall upon activating your dodge ability, which will help with regening some energy back. Bountiful Well will allow us to spawn two walls instead of one. Melee Wall Maker will allow us to produce walls via charge melee hits. Radiant Light will give us a plus 20 in strength stats, which is important for regening at a much faster rate. And Eliminate Armaments allows our weapon to produce walls in the mean run if we decide we want more walls on demand. From here, you then want a high melee and mobility stats as these two will play a major role in sustaining the 1-2 combo you'll have in mind. A 60 to 70 for mobility and 80 to 100 for strength is the ideal area that you'll want to aim for so you can make the best of the passive stats and their effects on the build. This is everything that you'll honestly need to make the build work in your favour and all the other mods and weapons will be down to you but of course having the BXR with Blood Execution is your main priority. Specifically, you'll be able to actively activate the perk constantly and gain that 500% weapon increasement per burst you do. Now although the perk will only activate once after a burst, to which you then have to refresh it again, you can reactivate it a number of times with the following build, as your melee will always be available. Simply melee, shoot, melee, shoot, dodge and repeat will be the process you'll be running through your brain, and once you get the drift of things, it becomes second nature. This is very useful when applied in extremely crowded areas with a mixed battle combatants as you want to focus on the toughest first before anything else. This setup will allow you to achieve that tenfold and still come out on top with a full stack of ability energy to boot. Now I don't know about you, but the fact that we can abuse this in PvE over and over again tells me that it has some usage in certain environments and can free up room for when you need a special weapon to fill in the ditch for raw utter power. So, if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub. And also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. If you do that type of stuff, link is always down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next one.